Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, with our main uh, topic uh, today. Uh, as we uh, said uh, that we are going to talk about the food and drinks uh, that uh, uh, is suitable to the summer vacations and the things that we should uh, eat or uh, drink uh, in order to reduce the effects of uh, the hot weather in summer. Well, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have with us uh, uh, today our dear guest, Dr. Nahla Bakri, the nutrition expert. Good morning. Good morning. Well, uh, Dr. Bakri, uh, uh, let's start with the, uh, because it's, the weather uh, nowadays is uh, very hot, uh, so let's uh, talk about the sun rays uh, um, and is it useful or harmful, when, what is the time that it is useful and the other time that it is very harmful? Uh, well, the sun is very useful because it provides us with uh, vitamin D. Yes. Uh, but again, it, you should be avoided between um, 11 a.m. until maybe 4 or 5 p.m. And uh, direct sunlight, I mean. Yes. You know. And, but again, you should expose yourself on a daily basis to the sun 15 Even in the very hot weather? Even in the very hot weather. But we always before, know that uh, yeah. uh, during the winter it's very good, but... Also in yes. the hot weather. Yes, you always need vitamin D yes. because vitamin D will help your body absorb calcium. Yes. And calcium is an essential mineral that you need for bone and teeth and nails and also for hydration. You know, because uh, for hydration, we're talking about the sun and the effect of the sun. Yes. You could, you could uh, be affected uh, by becoming dehydrated and and that will leave you with an electrolyte uh, imbalance. And one of the electrolytes is the calcium. Yes. A lot of minerals like potassium, magnesium, calcium, and bicarbonate are so essential to have. And we get this from the fruits and vegetables. So the summer diet should include lots and lots of fruits and vegetables. And, and we can talk about how to do it in a healthy way so we don't have a sugar spike because yes. of the sugars in the in the fruits. Yes, uh, Dr. Bakri, what is the time that we should avoid to be exposed to the sun during summer or winter? In the summer, I would say uh, between 11 and, and n right now, between 11 and 4 or 5 p.m. Uh, after that, it's safe. Before that, it's, it's relevantly safe. And uh, also, as you said, you have to always have water with you or drink lots of fluids. Yes. That's including tea, uh, tea and coffee, although tea and coffee are also, um, they actually dehydrate you if you drink too much of them. But studies yes. have shown that somehow our hot tea um, is, is hydrating in this, in this hot weather. It's a very weird uh, combination. Mm. But all the drinks that we drink in Egypt, like Karkade, like, you know, tea, like all the nice summer drinks. But Please avoid all the fizzy drinks, this, you know, the diet sodas, yes. diet or even regular because it has a lot it's of sugar. It's harmful. It's very harmful yes. uh, because it has a lot of sugar and that sugar is going to reduce your immunity <coughs> and everybody wants to boost the immunity. Yes, of course. And yes. to boost your immunity, you need to, what, what you need, more fruits and vegetables. So instead of the soda drinks, drink natural herbs, natural juices. And, ho and, and it's best if it's mixed with yogurt or rye because yes. then you have the protein in them and you, want, you will avoid the sugar spike. Yes, yes. So, Dr. Beckley, uh, concerning uh, uh, the effect of the sun uh, on uh, uh, the hair and the skin. Yes, uh, the same thing like the hydration uh, for the hair, drinking lots of water. But for the hair, you need to also add some oils, um, especially rosemary oil is very beneficial for the hair and the right diet for the hair. The right diet for the hair includes a lot of omega-3 foods like eggs and fish. And again, it's one of the most important things in the summer that we uh, profit from uh, being next to the, the sea and getting lots of fish and seafood yes. for the, for the omega-3 and high yes. quality protein. And it also benefit, benefits your hair. Yes. Um, it, it has been said uh, nowadays that uh, the watermelon uh, is uh, n not very good for the stomach uh, and for the digestive system nowadays. Uh, no, that's not true. That's, that's not, not true. true. You know, they always say like, you know, what I hear in the news, like a very small piece of info that is maybe right for a certain people or a certain yes. time, but it's not 
absolutely right. Watermelon is a super food in yes. the summer because it and has a very high... And loved by all the Egyptians, yes, of course. it has it's a very high nice. water content. Yes. Uh, melons, watermelon, mangoes are very good for the sun to protect yes. you from the sun. Whether you use it as a <coughs> topical, you know, uh, yes. mask for sunstroke yes. or Each. you eat it, you digest it. It's very good for yes. hydration. It has excellent men minerals and immu uh, yes. vitamin C immunity boosting. Yes. So the problem with watermelon, if you eat too much after a meal, it dilutes your gastric uh, acids. So it's about moderation. If you eat a cup of watermelon this big size after the meal, after a healthy meal, that's okay. That's no problem. Yes, uh, what are the other uh, useful fruits that we should All do? the fruits, all the summer fruits are useful mm. and the vegetables, also the summer vegetables are very useful because they have high water content, fiber and the, the vitamins and minerals. Yes. So mainly your diet should be salads. Uh, you add to the salads to make it a, a better quality, a protein, whether it's uh, plant-based like legume, like, you know, beans, uh, lentils, chickpeas. And you add seeds like flax seeds or sesame or any kind of seeds. Uh, also, you can add chicken, shrimp, fish, you mm. know, so like a salad with a nice protein. And next to it, you can have a nice baladi bread, our, yes. our own baladi bread, like a brown carb, then you have the perfect meal and then you end up with fruits. Perfect meal for the summer. Yes. Or yes. grilled proteins and vegetables, salads and fruits also. Yes. So, uh, Dr. Bakri, uh, what are, uh, as we were uh, just uh, talking about the, uh, uh, the sun and the, the, uh, that it's useful for the hair, what are the uh, kind of food that we should eat in order to have uh, a good uh, hair? For the hair, the best thing uh, you have to concentrate on proteins and omega-3 foods. Yes. As I said, eggs, fish, all kinds of meats and mm. proteins. Um, whole grains like firik, like oats, uh, and also green leafy, yes. avocados, nuts. All yes. these are very good for the hair. Yes. I just want to mention something very important, uh, that dehydration affects uh, especially the elderly and the babies. So we have to be very, very careful with the elderly, with hydration, because they get affected very fast and it affects their heart. And, you know, it's going yes. to be a very severe problem. So we have to be very careful with elderly <coughs> and babies when in the summer and the hydration. And we have to use the sachet, you know, the rehydrant sachet hat, yes. just to make sure that they get enough minerals in the summer. Yes. Uh, doctor, what are the kinds of hair and what is, are the problems that each uh, type uh, uh, would face? Types of hair, you mean? Yes, types of hair. Um, well, it doesn't matter your type of hair. It, it matters how you take care of your hair. You yes. have to always take care of your hair, your nails your skin, your body, everything by eating the right foods and also applying the right products. And yes. I like as healthy, uh, healthy products, the best product I found for the hair is the flax seeds. So flax seed, for instance, just like the mangoes, if you eat it, you know, you're going to get your omega-3 absorbed into your system. It's, it's amazing in omega-3. And also if you boil it, you get a gel and this is, this is a natural gel that you can apply for your hair. Yes. It's so good for our Egyptian hair, the curly hair, you know, it, it's very nice. It's style it and it makes, it conditions the hair naturally. Yes. And you know, and it's very abundant. You can go to the spice market and get some flax seeds and, mm. and do this like, a, a, and then keep it in the fridge, you know, keep the yes. gel in the fridge and apply it on a daily basis in the summer. It's very, very good for your hair. Yes. Yes. So, um, uh, what is the why is it useful uh, in the summer to go swimming to go to the sea or the swimming pool um, in the good uh, sun it's uh, it's very important that you of course uh, do any form of exercise like you know swimming uh, walking uh, running biking anything that you can do you know we need to move also and okay the the sun and our beautiful sun in egypt we can profit by going to the pool or to the beach and uh, a very nice thing that you can do in, in the beach is walk on the sand. It's very good for your for the joints, foot. for the foot, for yes. the muscles and for the ligaments. Yes. It's amazing. You know, also it's very good to earth you, to earth the body and to calm you down. Uh, just yes. to put your, even if an elderly person is sitting like, you know, my mom, when I take her to the beach, I let her bury her feet yes. in the sand. 
mm. and just do some like you know, same toe what exercises. Like we used to do when we were uh, young, of course. Exactly. Yes. It's so important to mm. profit from the nature as much yes. as possible. Yes. So uh, since we were young, uh, our grandmothers always used to tell us when we are staying uh, on the beach or um, you know um, uh, on the shore or at the sea, uh, drink a lot of water. So Absolutely. this advice, um, could you tell us more about it? We need to drink three liters of water in the summer. Mm. Uh, so to get three liters, you know, you need to have your own uh, water bottle that's cold or, or juices or, uh, as I said, herbals like Karkadi or any of the nice yes. dome. I like actually dome because it's naturally sweet and you don't have to add any, any sugar to it and it has tons of minerals. It's mm. very, very healthy to have dome. We forget about it. We only take it in Ramadan, but actually it's a very good drink to have instead of water because it's flavored water kind yes, of yes, you know it's like yes. and it it supplies the body with uh, the essential uh, uh, liquids that you need yes. during the day the body needs yes so dr Bakri, uh, concerning the people who suffers from a chronic disease um could you tell, tell us uh, uh, what wha what should uh, they uh, do when they go to the sea when they stay in the sun uh, what should they drink uh, first of all, you have to apply a sunblock, you know, because our sun yes. is very, <coughs> is very strong. Yes. And, um, you know, as we said, have some kind of hat to protect you from the sun. And then you can enjoy, once you have your own liquids and, and healthy foods, you can enjoy your, your, you know, whether you have chronic diseases yes. or not, there is no harm by being next to the beach. Actually, it's good even as training for eyes, you know, that, uh, now they're saying that you can cure some of the um, your uh, short if you have a short sight shy, sightness and you can look at the horizon for a very long time and that yes. kind of helps your eye muscles and eyesight actually so going to the beach going to nature is so beneficial in so many ways Yes. So uh, during uh, the whole day, when the, when we are uh, um, uh, having uh, spending some time uh, at the beach, what should we should uh, what should we eat while uh, uh, staying uh, on the beach? And um, um, uh, what are what should we uh, eat uh, for lunch, for dinner? Could you uh, name Before some you of the? Before you go to the beach, you should have a nice breakfast. Yes. You know, just maybe eggs or beans and olive oil mm. and you know our natural tamaya, whatever you like. Yes. With of course balanced fr uh, vegetables and fruits mm. and everything and then take your snacks to the beach with you take fruits some take uh, seeds. vegetables vegetables fruits, I, mean. I like to take like a small cheese sandwich yes and I take vegetables and I take fruits and I take seeds like mm. lib like you know peanuts and of course I take two at least two bottles of liquids water and maybe another drink Yes. And then you can actually eat some stuff, you know, like they sometimes uh, sell shells, you know, like uh, gandofli, you know, yes. all these shells by the beach. You can you can eat that. But try to avoid all the fast foods or, you know, uh, sugared, sugared desserts and stuff like this. Just try to pack your mm. own snacks by the beach. And yes. then when you go back from the beach, have a nice dinner with fish, any beautiful our fish meal. Mm. And then there you go. You have a... Yes, a healthy day by the yes, beach. Yes, yes. So concerning the uh, the fizzy uh, drinks, concerning the fizzy drinks, you know yes. they are extremely harmful. You know mm. for uh, kids, even if they don't have any chronic diseases, they actually cause diabetes, and um, you you want to avoid them. And if it's diet, it causes cancer. Yes. So both kinds of fizzy drinks should be avoided. But if you like this taste, what you can do is like add a little bit of karkade to soda water, just plain soda, and you yes. have the same effect and it's natural. You yes. know what I mean? We, instead of buying all these colored sugar drinks that is not help, uh, you know, healthy for us or for our kids. Yes. Uh, doctor, um, now during the summer season, uh, when we go to the beach, uh, uh, as you've just mentioned, uh, we should uh, have uh, some snacks. Uh, and we, uh, when we come back from the beach, uh, we, are, we feel very hungry because the whole day we are s uh, swimming, you know. So how can we control our weight or lose weight during the summer season? That's a very good question. You should regulate your calories. So if you eat in the morning before going to the beach, let, let's see, people don't eat very early, maybe 11 or 12. Yes, of right? course, yes. And then you have another snack by 3 p.m. at the beach. 
and another <laughs> snack at 6 p.m. So every three hours. So you have two snacks at the beach. You know, sunset is around 7. Then you go back and then you have <coughs> your meal by 8.30. Yes. You have your dinner or your main meal at 8.30. And, you know, in, in this way you have regulated your calories. You cannot stay the whole day without food. Yes. You have to eat every three to four hours to regulate your yes. blood sugar and to avoid uh, either starvation mode. If you starve yourself, you're going to overeat. And yes. if you eat too much, you're going to gain weight both, yes. both are not good for you. Yes. Uh, so um, also, I concerning the fast food and the ice cream. Well, there are healthy mm -hmm. ice creams. You know, if you want to get uh, commercial ice creams, there is like a few brands in Egypt that make it all natural, and mm -hmm. they are expensive, but they are so worth it. Okay. So, or we can make a healthier version ice cream at home by just in the you know blender by mixing like for instance mangoes and yogurt or rye and some honey and putting it in the freezer or bananas with cocoa and also uh, rye yes. and honey and putting it in the freezer you get a nice ice cream yes. natural ice cream yes I thank you very much for coming today. I really had the, the pleasure to host you today. Thank you thank so you. much, Dr. Nahla Bakri, the nutrition expert. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, following me in this uh, segment. My name is Amal Mukhtar. I leave you with the rest of uh, the segments of The Breakfast Show.